Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. As you may see that these banger are currently ongoing. So today we gonna covering some upcoming students with short preview, to determine which one that are suitable to your gameplay. Some of the students are not free tested might be have different skill description depending on global announcement later. And like usual, I'm gonna keep an update when the student is released in global on should you pull series. After this banner and vent, we will have another permanent event. We will have another last permanent event, the Frenopath's decisive battle. This time is Union Raid, just like the full Sanctum Tower, or the Nasir Summit event. And what makes it limited is the clearing rewards from the ticket, while for the total defeat rewards will be there eternally, until you claim it. Anyway while the event is held, two regular banner is released, Koyuki and Shiroko. Koyuki appear as mystic damage dealer that capable to dealing area with random damage. Her X skill, deal random damage to all enemies within range. Nothing so special on her X skill beside throwing random bomb that capable to dealing random damage. Her basic skill, deal damage to one enemy, and if there's other enemies near to it deal the same damage as well, and then immediately she reload her weapon. Her enhanced skill and enhanced skill plus, both increase her attack. Increase this skill can improving her X and basic skill damage. And last but not least is her sub skill. To simplified, she increase her attack depending what type of the bomb she throws, and the best bomb type are bullets. This skill also can increase the damage she dealt from her basic attack, X and basic skill. And that's it about Koyuki, from overall preview, her banner R seems to be skippable. And so the other banner as well, Shiroko banner R skippable. Since you can obtain her LF for free through the hard stages, and she is okay to build. After the release of her exclusive weapon, she is very much stronger than before. To be used as a side damage dealer of course. Well back again, it's a dead week for 2 weeks. Anyway, 2 weeks after this banner, rerun event and banner will be held. The first new year event will be held and last for a week. There's 5 banner will be released, 3 of them are the rerun banner, and 2 are the new regular banner. Let's talk about 2 new regular banner. That is Kaoko New Year, and Hiruka New Year. Kaoko New Year, one of the best mystic supports are that capable to increase mystic attack to one ally. Her X skill, increase mystic damage to one selected ally by 92% that last for 40 seconds, and grant them on a more restate. With the cheap X skill cost and last longer, you can apply this buff into multiple mystic student. In actual battle. She can only apply her buff into two students, before the first buff that applied is completely disappear. Now, let's talk about what Somamori status were written on her X skill. This state didn't do anything, and will stay there eternally until the battle is over. However, take a look at her sub skill, when all allies able to scores 200 critical hit in total, she increase her attack by 25%. And then additionally, if there's an ally with Omimori state, they will receive additional 41% mystic attack buff from it, that last for 50 seconds. After that, ally with Omimori state will be removed after activation. Which is another awesome mystic attack buff for mystic student to make them deal more damage. Also take a note that, her sub skill will trigger if all allies able to scores 200 critical hit in total. And either her X or basic skill must be activated. What about her basic skill? She increase critical rate of one ally by 40%, and that's a lot. Can make student that hard to land a critical strike, much easier. Though, not many player relying into her basic skill, because she choose the student that on ear to her, instead of the one that needed her critical rate. So it's quite difficult. To let her basic skill activated towards your mystic hyper carry that are desperately needed it. And last is her enhanced skill. Increase attack to herself our garbage skill I'd say. Because supporter can't contribute damage. While for her enhanced skill plus however. Increase the buff duration by 1900 might be little helpful as Himari enhanced skill plus. 1900 is equivalent as 19%. So. 
the buff duration she applied will be increased by 19% or 8 seconds for her X skill. Additional 5 seconds for her basic skill and 10 seconds for her sub skill. Sounds like complicated to understand, let's make it simple, so, if you unlock her enhanced skill plus, the buff duration of her X skill will be increased from 40 into 48 seconds, basic skill from 25 into 30 seconds, and sub skill from 50 seconds into 60 seconds. Was it necessary to unlock it, as you unlocking Himari's enhanced skill plus? Well, looking at the global situation where platinum is much easier, then the answer is no. Moving on into another New Year student, Hiruka New Year. Appear as special support, with ability to reducing critical strike resistance and critical damage resistance into one enemy. Her X skill, deal damage into one enemy, further reduce critical resistance and critical damage resistance by 41%. Most of the time debuffer comes with reduced offense, while debuffer that able to reduce critical damage are only few availability. However, debuffer that can reduce critical rate are almost nowhere to be seen, and this Iruka New Year has great debuff combination. Though her debuff is quite unnoticeable effective as a debuffer that can reduce defense. Even if stacked with her basic skill that provide another critical damage resistance by 30% is still the damage dealt from the student, very hardly noticeable. Her enhanced skill, increase attack, considering she is a peer as supporter, that increase attack might be resulting nothing, or no damage contribution at all. While her enhanced skill plus however, increase the debuff duration by 1900 or 19%, might be little helpful, though not necessary to have it. By unlocking her enhanced skill plus, her X skill will last for 60 seconds, and her basic skill will last for 24 seconds. And last is her sub skill, increase cost recovery of all allies, it is the best sub skill for fast clearing. Take a note that her sub skill cannot be stacked with Imari's sub skill, since both have the same skill type and role. And that's it about these two new year banner. Kaoko new year banner is must pull, since she is one of the best supporter for mystic team and must have or build. While Haruka New Year is optional to get, not necessary to pull, but okay to build for future content. Unless if you're folly lucker, then you might want all of these. A week after this Rara New Year event, and old event will be added into permanent event story. That is the very first event, Festival of Cherry Blossoms. Well, the permanent event story rewards you nothing so special beside Oligma. And at the same time, there will be two rerun banner, Izuna and Mimori. Izuna is still the one of the best mystic damage dealer, most of the time against mystic raid bosses. If you have her, better build her now, and start farming her Ella for mystic raid boss later. While Mimori is only there to be your waifu. A week after these banner, another rerun event will be held. That is the an unconcealed heart event, lasting for a week. Introducing one new regular banner, at the same time, 3 banner will also get rerun. Let's talk about the new one, Kaho. Kaho is well quite similar as Sakurako. Capable to dealing damage against one enemy with her X skill, and can apply buff to herself with the other skills. Talking about how good she is, with that X skill cost amount, she would be have the same performance as Esazusa. So, she is good for those who don't have Esazusa and looking for a placement on Mystic Raid Boss. However, Kaho utility are below Esazusa when it comes to be used on other Raid Boss, since she don't inflict debuff like Esazusa do. In general, she is skippable, unless if you're lacking Mystic Student for Mystic Raid Boss. That being said, the next new banner are probably greater than this, while for the other run banner, only pull Aroha if you don't have her. Iroha is an easy TS unit that requires zero brain to use her. She can be used on any mystic content. A week after, another event will be added into permanent event, at the same time, to banner have their a run, that is Chirino and Marina. Chirino is the best piercing area damage dealer that you should at least have with fully build. Not only her X skill that can makes her great unit, but also another skill such as her basic and enhanced skill. These two skill makes her can be used on anything as passive support. If you have Chirino, better build her right now, sure this banner are skippable for most player. However for those beginner, 
Chirino can help you on most content like common stages, commission, event and raid. So, it is worth to pull for beginner only. While for marina, not totally sure whether worth to build or not, while for pulling is no. A week after, new event is coming, that is the warning from the white chalk. When the event is held, there's two new regular banner will be released, that is Toki Bunny Girl and Erisu Maid. Also, the event rewards you Yuzu Maid as the welfare student. Erisu Maid appear as mystic damage dealer, and light as her defense type. Unlike the regular of herself where her basic attack goes through or penetrated, the maid version of Erisu's basic attack cannot penetrated enemy. That is because of her sub skill, and as an exchange, she will deal 30% additional damage instead. Moving into her X skill, deal massive damage into one enemy with cheap X skill cost. It's very awesome to say. Her basic skill, after performing 15 basic attack, she applied attack and mystic attack buff to herself, that last for 40 seconds. This skill surprisingly great and awesome, very much suitable to make her a single hyper carry mystic student. That motion looks similar as you pressing square button on item called whetstone. Also considering that Erisu made her slow attack, and her basic skill are relying on it, it took around a minute to cast or very long to do so. And last is her enhanced skill and enhanced skill plus, she increase her critical damage and attack. With all of these simple description skill, the damage she dealt from her X skill is incredible. And moreover her X skill is cheap, which is giving an opportunity to use her X skill for the second time before the buff is gone. The other student are Toki Bunny Girl. Appear as explosive damage dealer, and light as her defense type. Her X skill, another simple and easy to understand, deal damage into one enemy. Well not much she can deal damage with it, with the cheap X skill cost, it's fair enough. And then her basic skill, also dealing damage into one enemy, and reduce their critical damage resistance that last for 30 seconds. I've already talked about the critical damage resistance Deba far hardly noticeable. However, since this is on her basic skill, R might be nice addition. Her enhanced skill and enhanced skill plus, increase attack and attack speed. Again, another great skills set for those who don't satisfied with her damage dealt, either from her X skill, or basic skill, or basic attack. And last is her sub skill, when her X skill is activated, she applied explosive damage improvement by 35% that last for 20 seconds. That was a great sub skill, considering she has low X skill cost, you can keep spamming to make her deal more damage. Overall, these students are only strong under certain condition, and what that condition is, the heavy investment. If you're confident enough knowing how strong they are for torment difficulty, like Eris who made for Shiro Kuro, and Toki Bunny Girl for Katen, then you might want them to help you out on torment difficulty. If you have wanted to clearing raid on insane or lower difficulty, there's high chance that you might want to stick with the formation that you've currently using. Sure, skipping these banner are not guaranteed to get platinum, and if you insist, you can just borrow these two with overkill build from someone else. While for Toki Bunny, I guess her live 2D is worth to spark for, just to fill your inner demon. And then the welfare student are Yuzu made, you'll obtain her for free through the event. She appear as special explosive area damage dealer. Her X skill is nice and awesome. She deal damage to all enemies within range, and if there's another enemy, deal the same damage to them. Also, her follow up damage will deal significantly less for the same enemy, than the actual damage from her X skill. But still, that doesn't change the fact she is an indeed strong explosive area damage dealer. Her basic skill, deal damage into all enemies within circular area, and nothing so special on it. Her enhanced skill, she increase her critical damage, which is nice addition to make her strong area damage dealer. While her enhanced skill plus, increase the critical rate, making her to deal critical much easier. And last is her sub skill, increase attack of all allies, is acceptable. It is worth to mention that she is worth to build, because who knows you might need her against Grigorius later. Two weeks after this event, another run event will be held.
That is the after school sweets event, this event lasting for a week. Introducing one new regular banner, the cotton candy, or the tier 7 girl or everyone superstar. Also there's two banner will have their run, Kazusa and Natsu banner. Everyone superstar appear as tanker with heavy as her defense. Her is skill, deal damage to all enemies with an area, and have ability to dispel single debuff that applied on herself. It's a great skill, just in case if she have a debuff that can make her become fragile, like on Pirora's earlier example. Also her X skill have ability to taunt, and decrease the enemy's defense, thanks to her sub skill. Her basic skill, every 50 seconds she applied continuously HP regeneration by 43% of her healing, for 30 seconds. Pretty much good ability for self sustain on certain condition, though, sometimes not very reliable, especially on 3 stars. Because on 3 stars, the HP she regenerate is very low. And last is her enhanced skill. She increase her attack and HP, both could be good stats improvement. It is worth to pull for every one superstar to clear certain raid boss, like Pirorazilla or Hod. Other than that is probably no, unless if you're fully lucky. If you already have Natsu, this banner is an easy skip, if you fully not intended to clear torment difficulty on the bosses I've mentioned before. So again, not worth to pull for those who's non-competitive and careless about torment difficulty. Perhaps, her furniture motion might be interest you. Also these two banger as well, only pull and build for competitive player. If you're a new player that Armiculus, Kazusa can be useful to clear banner or hod on urban warfare. Though, Boromika for piercing raid boss will be the best obvious choice. And Natsu is good for Pirorazilla torment or lower difficulty. If you have every one superstar however, this banger might be an easy skip. A week after this rerun event is released, another event story will be added into permanent story. That is the Summer Skies wish list, or the very first summer event. And there will be 3 rerun banner, 1 a regular banner, and 2 of them are limited banner. Sure, S if you me banner is skippable, however is she worth to build, after the releasing her exclusive weapon. I still don't have strong proof, where exactly her utility will be, even with her exclusive weapon being released. But I believe, knowing her basic skill will dealing 3 area damage, her exclusive weapon could be somehow useful on cheesed. To prevent kamikaze attack of course. That being said, there is no further test as this video have been released. Moving into the other to limited banner, S Azusa and S Mashiro. Are they worth to pull? For S. Azusa is yes obviously. S. Azusa is still strong student for indoor mystic raid, and moreover she have ability to inflict debuff defense, and because of this, she have good utility as passive debuffer. While for S. Mashiro is somehow little no to pull. I mean I know some of you might be yelling that she will be useful on PvP, however, she just got dethroned by S. Shiroko for the time being. And that's it about these to limited banner, overall. Both seems to be must pull knowing these two banner are limited. For those who already have them is an easy skip, while for those who don't have both might be reconsider. S Azusa is the way you should pull for those who hasn't have her yet, while S Mashiro is seems to be nowhere to be used again. That being said, I'll keep an update later. A week after that, we will have new event. We will go into Shanghai Jing again, a new event titled Ryubu Dushu. Introducing two new student from Shanghai Jing, Rumi and Mina. Both are appear as permanent student, or will be added when their rate up banner is ended. Let's talk about the first one, Rumi. Appear as striker healer with heavy as her defense, her X skill, TLER, heal one ally, and if there's another ally that hasn't received heal, heals them up to four ally. The first and last ally will receive higher HP recover and dispelling single debuff that applied to them, than the second and the third ally. Second and third ally only receive HP recover, and no debuff dispelling. That dispelling debuff could be a good on some situational. Moreover her X skill provide HP regeneration for allies that healed by her X skill, thanks to her sub skill. Moving on into her basic skill, deal damage into enemies within fan shaped area. I know, 
Healer that do damage on her basic skill sounds like makes no sense. However, take a deep look. Her attack type is explosive, heavy is her defense type, and that basic skill range is fan shaped, so what does that mean? It means that she can be used against Gregorius raid boss later, and that basic skill might be little useful against the qua that appear in here. Whether it's true or not, I had no idea, I made it up. Last is her enhanced skill, increase basic attack range and healing, this mean that she can attack at the safest range, and while still gain healing. Moving on into another regular student, Mina. Appear as support a student that capable to inflict multiple debuff, and able to deal good amount of damage against enemies with debuff state. Her ease skill, deal damage into one enemy, further reduce their attack, evasion, and accuracy by 30% for 50 seconds. In general content, this or her X skill are completely garbage. However, after the introduction of Gregorius boss, and the student that capable to inflict debuff far needed here. This student somehow become SS tier 4 torment 1 team clear. And with free to play strategy, somehow this student is must for insane Gregorius. Moreover, after she using her X skill, she increase her attack, evasion, and accuracy by 35%. Thanks to her sub skill, that mean, she have nice dodge rates to avoid some deadly attack, and quite too powerful as supporter I'd say, because of that self buff attack. Moving on into her basic skill, reload instantly and deal damage into one enemy, further if the enemy has debuff, deal additional damage to it depending the quantity of the debuff that target have. To be simplified, the more of the enemy have debuff, the more basic skill additional damage she dealt to them. No doubt, she is near as damage dealer. And last her enhanced skill, increase her evasion rate, while enhanced skill plus, she increase accuracy. That's it about these two student, for beginner, these student can't help with their best. For end game player, two of them might help you. Rumi is unique healer with ability to dispelling debuff that applied to lies, dispelling debuff is truly core when you are about to fight Pirorazilla. If you feel a need student that capable to dispelling debuff, Rumi is ok to pull and build as long as you know about what are you doing. While the other banner, Mina is ok to pull as well, for future boss fight Gregor and nothing else beside that. Unless if you truly know, that inflicting attack buff could helpful to you, then she might can be used on anything. The Rabbit of Kerbanog Chapter 4, introducing one new banner, and to rerun banner that last for a week. Let's talk about the new one, Minori. You see, if you hate the newest boss, or Gregorius, then Minori is must have. Here's the reason. Another strong special explosive area damage dealer. Her X skill. Deal damage to all enemies within the circular area, the interesting part of her X skill is that you can add X skill cost until 7 cost. Get it, AK 47, skill cost from 4 to 7. So from costing 4, to 7, and with that, she will deal large damage to all enemies inside her area. Her basic skill, deal damage to all enemies within circular area, it's the mini version of X skill. Her enhanced skill. Increase her accuracy, might be sound nothing interesting, but it could help her out against enemies with evasion. While that enhanced skill plus is great for her to dealt even more damage, either from her X skill or basic skill. And last is sub skill, increase attack of all allies that uses explosive attack type, is the same as increase attack, but better and meant for explosive team. So, should you pull on this? Yes. You better pull this student for easy clear on Gregorius raid boss. Skipping her banner is okay if you're poor, or having lower than 200 pulls. While the other two is an optional. Pull them only if you need for hod raid boss, and if you comfy against it however, then it's an easy skip. A week after this banner is released, another a run banner is held. That is the other rabbit has their a run as well, Miyu and Moe. Miyu is still, well knowing torment difficulty is released. Everyone is usable in there, and for me you effective against Binner and Hot Torment. 
No idea about her performance, it's been long time I haven't touched her. While for Moe, she is usable against Hod and she's torment or lower, and still great piercing area damage dealer. Anyway, these banner are skippable Moa is worth to build, while Miyu utility is still inconclusive for casual player. A week after this banner, we will have new event. That is another summer event with rabbit platoons and the mystery of missing shrimp, this event lasting for 2 weeks. Introducing to new regular swimsuit banner, Miyako swimsuit and Saki swimsuit. Miyu swimsuit will be available as welfare student through the event. Miyako swimsuit appearing as tanker with heavy as her defense type, and capable to inflict debuff to the enemy. Her X skill, deal damage to one enemy, further reduce their critical damage resistance by 20% for 50 seconds. Yes, reduce critical damage resistance are hardly noticeable, but it's fine or nice addition since she appear as tanker. If you're truly expert at analyzing, you'll find how necessary the critical damage resistance debuff will be. That, I'm gonna leave it to you. Her basic skill, every 30 seconds increase evasion rate by 35% for 25 seconds. Looking at her second gear and its badge, the evasion rate she have on battle is quite impressive. Her enhanced skill, increase her HP while her enhanced skill plus, increase her evasion. That evasion from her basic skill and enhanced skill plus is very important to trigger her sub skill. Her sub skill will apply to increase cost recovery that lasts for 10 seconds after she evade 50 attack. It's a great skill for X skill spam and fast clearing that can be passively activated. If you thinking that a striker can increase cost recovery is new, then you might haven't seen if you miss sub skill. Moving on into another swimsuit student, Saki swimsuit. She is now a peer as striker supporter that capable to dealing good damage against crowded enemies and have ability to inflict debuff. Her X skill, deal damage to one enemy, Futha reduce their defense, attack, and critical resistance by 20%. Debuff defense are very noticeable most of the time against bosses, reducing attack can also very effective to reduce the damage of the enemy. And reduce critical resistance is nice way to make student dealing critical easier. It's nice X skill debuff 3 in 1 with cheap X skill cost and last very long. Her basic skill, deal damage to all enemies within fan shaped area, further deal additional damage if the enemy is regular sized. Knowing she is a peer as supporter, sure the damage from the basic skill isn't much, but still usable because spammable. Her enhanced skill, increase accuracy sounds like it's nothing, but is fine and enhanced skill plus increased debuff duration is a nice to make debuff even longer. Now her sub skill might be unique, increase attack of herself and all special student by 30%. This mean that, she can improve the damage dealt of special student with her sub skill. It's actually great, however, doesn't work if the special student is healer or supporter. And that's it about these two, they're very worth to pull if you hate the new boss. And other than that is not totally sure, since this student on you and fresh, there's no further test. But for now I'm gonna say, pull only for Gregorius. Keep in mind, both are appear as non-limited. The welfare student army use swimsuit. She is appear as special explosive damage dealer. Her X skill, deal critical damage to enemies within rectangle area, this attack always critical and very awesome. Her basic skill, deal damage to enemies with an area and nothing so special within this skill, however that activation time really long to cast. Her enhanced skill and enhanced skill plus, increase attack and critical damage, both are very great for more damage of her X skill and basic skill. And last is her sub skill, increase critical damage of all allies. From overall skill set, she is nice special explosive damage dealer, and probably worth to max star, if you're into Gregorius and great total assault. Two weeks after this event, an event story will be added into permanent event story. That is the Gehenna summer event. And the two limited banner have their run, that is Hina swimsuit and Iori swimsuit. Unlike the first released, Hina swimsuit is appear stronger now, after the releasing her exclusive weapon, and now have better utility. 
while for Iori swimsuit is somehow decent damage dealer I'd say, though still have utility at least. These banners must pull and have for those who don't have them, while for those who already have will be an easy skip. A week after, we will have regular a run banner. That is Azusa and Shiroko riding. It's a must skip banner. A week after, another summer a run event will be held. That is the Abydos Restoration Task Force, and lasting for a week. Introducing one new regular banner and two a run banner. Let's talk about the new swimsuit student, Shiroko Swimsuit. Appear as special mystic damage dealer. Her X skill, deal damage to one enemy, further reduce their defense. Looking at the damage she dealt are not quite fascinating it seems. However, considering her X skill cost is cheap are quite reasonable. Moreover, that reduced defense will give her more utility or more uses. On PvP however, she can one-shot Tsubaki. Her basic skill, at the start of the battle, increase critical rate and reduce X skill cost by one of all allies. Increase critical rate is awesome for most student to deal critical strike, and reduce X skill cost are another good support. That being said, her basic skill only activated once. Which is quite bad for long battle but still usable, and great on short battle. On PvP, her basic skill very much important for fast duel. Her enhanced skill, increase attack absolutely great for those who don't satisfied with her X skill damage. And last is her sub skill, increase cost recovery, just like Himari's sub skill. It was one of the best special sub skill of all. And that's it about S Shiroko, she is great on PvP for now. However, we can assuming that she will be great on any raid bosses, as long as you need student that capable to reduce defense, and boost cost recovery. So, she have good utility I'd say, though, I can only just assuming. Whether she is worth to pull or not, for now it is worth to pull and have for competitive only. For beginner, seems to be no reason at all pulling on her. Perhaps her lib 2d is the reason why you should pull. While the other banner is skippable, since most of the player already have both through the rate off. If you don't have both however, still no, don't pull because the next banner after this are limited. A week after this rerun event, new summer event is coming. That is the Trinity's extracurricular activities, another summer event for Trinity that lasts for 2 weeks. Introducing to limited banner, UE swimsuit and in it a swimsuit. Keep in mind these two banner only last for a week, because after this limited banner, we will have the third fest banner. Let's talk about UE swimsuit. Appear as limited strike as support, and elastic as her defense. Her X skill, move all allies into her position. Further increase their piercing attack. This her X skill alone is reasonable to get, because of that she can make any piercing dealer will stronger. Moreover her basic skill also provide another piercing attack, but the catch is that she need a clue. To gain clue, it was already explained on her sub skill, when 2x skill were activated by allies, she increase her attack and gain a clue. Sure the attack buff most of the time will do nothing to her, however, the clue are needed to buff piercing attack of all allies. Very awesome supporter, and must have for easy piercing content. Next is in it a swimsuit. She is a peer as special area explosive damage dealer. Her X skill, deal damage to enemies within circular area, it's a simple skill. However, with that X skill cost, she should be perform the same as Minori. Witches will do the best against trash mob. Her basic skill, deal damage to one enemy, and if there's another enemy near to it, deal the same damage to them. And it will keep bouncing up to 6 enemies. Her enhanced skill increase attack and explosive damage, both are great combination to make her deal even more damage. Her sub skill, increase attack of all allies is acceptable. And that's it, from overall short preview, both are very strong student. 
UE swimsuit will be the greatest piercing attack buff supporter that everyone must have for piercing content. No further question asked, she is great and must have, also limited. Moreover she have incredible lib 2D. Hinata swimsuit is an alternative for not having Minori, both perform same against trash mob. For Hinata swimsuit is quite exclusive, and perhaps better than Minori, and we will know the answer sooner or later. Sure she will shine later when Gregorius raid boss is held, and must have for that boss haters. Also her live 2D is incredible to look at. After these two banner, another limited banner is released. Two limited fest banner, Hanako swimsuit and Wakamo. Hanako swimsuit appear as striker damage dealer, and introducing new attack type called Sonic. What's so special about Sonic attack type is still usable against special armored enemies. Her X skill, deal damage to enemies within range. So simple. However, if she have water gauge 1 or 2, her X skill card will stay in the front, until the water gauge is depleted or reach 0. To fill her water gauge, you just need to use X skill of any student that available except Hanako, just like it explained from her sub skill. Moreover, she increase her own attack per each water gauge by 38%, and the gauge can be stacked up to 2 charges. Moving on into her basic skill, she yeeted her dildo balloon that capable to dealing damage and reducing enemies defense. And last is her enhanced skill, increase attack and critical damage, it's a great offensive combination. From overall short overview, it seems that she does not show how strong she is, and it's because we are lacking content for this character. Though if you thinking she is weak, fest student are supposed to be strong, and for her Nako swimsuit will shine at later or future content. Her banner is strongly must pull and have with fully build, just like you did into the other fest student. And don't forget her live 2D, it's incredible. So, the releasing her exclusive weapon, she is now better than without it. That her exclusive weapon gives significant attack bonus, and more damage dealt from her basic skill. Anyway, she is even better now. Koharu swimsuit will be available as welfare student through the event. Appear as striker mystic damage dealer, with heavy as her defense type. Her X skill, deal damage to all enemies within circular area, yet another simple skill. Her basic skill increase her critical rate, this could make her dealing critical much easier. Her enhanced skill increase critical rate and attack, it's quite nice addition. Sub skill, deal additional damage if she attacking medium sized enemies. Overall, Koharu swimsuit is not the worst or the best. I guess her live 2D is the best for some player. And that's all. So let's make the conclusion from all the banner that have we discuss. Koyuki and Shiroko are skippable. Next are the new year banner. Get these to limited student if you don't have them. If you already have the limited new year student, then, get Kayoko new year, she is the best mystic supporter for mystic content. You can skip Iruka new year, since the content for her is still far, and coping you will get her through the rate off if you need her. Unless if you know what you're doing, you might want to pull her as well. After that, these two banner is released and you should skip. A week after, four banner will released at the same time, and pretty much they're skippable. Except for Aroha, if you don't have her, pulling her is okay since she is TS unit that you should have for mystic content. Next these two banner will be held, and pretty much skippable too. However, for those who don't have Cherino, it's fine to pull her here since she have great utility. Next banner we have Erisa Maid and Toki Bunny. Both are okay to pull. However, if you're competitive or lacking mystic or explosive, then these two banner is must pull, and have with fully build at least 5 stars with enhanced skill plus. After that, everyone's superstar is released, and she is not the best choices for starter. But for competitive, she is must have for Pyrrhorazilla Torment. However, if you're not into Torment, then, 
The answer is no calling any on this, unless if you don't have Natsu. With that said, Natsu is way better than Reisha, so getting Natsu much worth it. Also she is great tanker than Reisha for starter against Pirora's Zilla raid boss. Kazusa is skippable if you already have Mika, must fully build if you're into torment. And then summer banner is released after that. Only pull on these banner if you don't have them, if you do, then skip. Next we have two new Shan Heijing students, four end game players, both are needed. Rumi should have, because dispelling debuff and healing are needed for Pirora Zilla or other raid boss. While Mina is for those who hate Gregorius raid boss. And for beginner, both are seems to be skippable to you, and better find student that suit to your gameplay instead. Next are these banner. Minori is must have and fully build for most end game player, against Gregorius insane later. Also she can help beginner as well to clear common stages. And these banner are only ok to pull, if you having difficult time when fighting hot raid boss. If you are comfy enough, then don't. And then another rabbit appear. Corbin a torment, some says, though I hardly believe it, since we are free to play that or not able to clear torment. Moa is great piercing area damage dealer, for cheese later. 2 rabbit summer version is probably ok for beginner or end game player to pull this banner to clear Gregorius insane difficulty. And we have a run banner Gehenna summer version, both are must pull, only for those who don't have them. While this regular banner is must skip. After that, 3 regular banner appear at the same time. Shiroko swimsuit is ok to pull, however, knowing the next banner are limited after this. It's a skip I guess. A week after, two limited banner are appear, and both of them are must to pull and build. Yui swimsuit is another greatest supporter that everyone must have for piercing team. While for Hinata swimsuit is for Gregorius later in the future. After that, Hanako swimsuit banner is released, alongside with Wakamo banner. Hanako swimsuit is another fest student with potential to be powerful in the future content. Her banner is must pull and have, because fest banner is an opportunity to obtain more students and eligma. Wakamo banner is also worth to pull only for those who don't have her, and she is even better now after the releasing her exclusive weapon. And that's it, I've already tell you these are short preview. But some of them actually to detail explaining how do they works. Anyway, I know this video is not perfect. If there's something wrong with the student, I'll try correcting it later when they are about to released. That should be all, as always, Godspeed.